and in this video I'm going to be looking at the difference in the marketing mix between industrial and consumer products. So um, I've done a video introducing the seven P's of the marketing mix. Uh, in this video I'm going to look over uh, these various bullet points here that um, AQA to know it's a bit of a mishmash of stuff so I'll just um, get on with it okay so <clears throat> the first distinction that you need to be aware of is the difference uh, between goods and services so a good is a physical object that can that has value and can be sold um, whereas a service is an intangible product that has value and can be sold so physical objects things you can touch Toothbrush, toothpaste, mobile phones, cars, all of these things you can touch. A service is something that you can't touch. Okay, so for example, you, you buy the car, that's the physical good, but to drive it you need an insurance policy. And you can't really touch an insurance policy, it doesn't exist in reality. You, you touch the paper that the insurance policy is written, but it, it's not a physical product, it doesn't exist. Um, uh, tangibly in reality. Um, bank account is another example, I can't really touch my bank account. Cleaning services, haircuts, all of these are examples of services. Now in terms of the um, marketing mix, I mean <clears throat> it's difficult to know uh, at this stage without many past papers what AQA want you to know about this. All services and goods will have marketing mixes and the business will try to put over an image. You can have luxury goods um, such as the BMW there that's in the picture. You could also have luxury services, you know, a really top end uh, restaurant for example or an insurance policy that's very comprehensive and offers um, extremely good coverage. Um, equally, you can have cheaper alternatives, you know, um, going in at below the market price. So I think the main thing to take away is just that goods and services, uh, there's a difference between them, but every product, uh, regardless of whether it's a good or service, will have a unique marketing mix of that product. Um, and going back to the uh, definition of the marketing mix that I had in the last video, the business is trying to create a brand image for itself. Um, through its marketing mix and the chain its marketing objectives. <clears throat> so you also need to be aware of the difference between industrial and consumer goods. So industrial products are goods and services that are uh, bought and sold between businesses. It's also called B2B, business-to-business -business transactions. Um, so, I mean, in, in terms of the marketing mix of industrial products, industrial products you know, it's, it's business to business, it tends to be kind of bulk buying, uh, you know, high value, uh, you know, there's a lot of money um, exchanged in, in transactions, or at least there can be. Um, uh, and often, you know, the, the buyers of these uh, business to business transactions, buyers of these um, things will expect things like bulk purchases, Going back to the unit on operations, they might expect uh, flexibility in supply, uh, the importance of kind of ongoing uh, relationships um, in those instances. So some examples of industrial products might be, um, you know, the uh, components of uh, an engine or something like that that a car manufacturer is buying, or a lot of companies today outsource their sort of cleaning services Maybe in your school, the um, canteen staff are not employed directly by the school. Okay, they're all examples of kind of business to business transac transactions. <clears throat> Consumer products are the goods and services that are used to satisfy the wants and needs of the final user. Um, so these are products that are designed for the, to be consumed essentially by the final uh, user of those goods. So there are three different types that you need to be aware of. There are convenient products, uh, frequently bought purchases whose purchasing decisions require little thought or effort. So you don't really spend a lot of time agonising about what toothpaste you're going to buy or what brand of, you know, if you're going to buy a small bottle of water, you don't particularly 
or at least I don't anyway, spend a lot of time worrying about what brand it is. Um, in terms of the marketing mix then, um, importance of price, um, maybe that will be the most important decision maker, the location of the product in the shop um, might be um, um, important. Um, I'm not saying the brand, you know, brand awareness, I guess, would be important. So, um, yeah, uh, that contrasts with shopping products. So shopping products are more planned consumption. Purchase requires a little thought and effort. You've got to uh, kind of um, plan buying these things. It's not something that you probably just buy on uh, impulse. Um, you know, things like belts, um, pieces of furniture, these are items that you would generally think to be purchasing and, and, and you maybe you know go on a special shop, shopping trip to buy these items. Um, in terms of the marketing mix then it's important that consumers know where to find these goods um, and um, yeah I guess uh, uh, maybe they're prepared to spend a little more on them so maybe the price isn't such an important factor. Um, you know, maybe, maybe promotion um, so that people are aware of your brand and are prepared to spend a bit of money on your product. Finally, speciality products. These are items that are rarely brought. They require planning and consideration. Um, in terms of these items, like buying a car, buying an engagement ring, buying a house, um, perhaps the importance of people in the marketing mix, people who, you know, will advise consumers uh, and try and take some time to understand their needs um, and try and match the best product uh, within their range to that um, uh, consumer. So I guess that would be the important part of the marketing mix. Um, so a bit of a mishmash of things in uh, that video. I guess the important takeaway is that every um, business, every product has um, a marketing mix, the seven elements of the marketing mix that uh, they use to try and achieve their marketing objectives.